Hi, this is Jonathan from Barn2. In this video, I'm going to show you how to enable your customers to add multiple products to their cart within your WooCommerce store, just like I'm doing here. So I can come into this product table I've got here and I can make multiple selections of products and I can choose options for sizes, etc., without leaving this page. So I could add this one here. I could come here, select my color, size. Um, that automatically adds it to the little buy selection here. And at the end, when I finished, I can just add the whole lot to the cart, which is really handy. So I could come down here, just add one more. And um, yeah, we'll have two of those. And then come down to the bottom here and we can just hit add selected to cart. And it puts the whole lot in the cart in one go. Really easy, really simple, really quick. Unfortunately, as it comes, WooCommerce doesn't let you do this and your customers will have to click through to a separate product page in order to choose things like size options for a product like this. So here we can add this one to the cart. This one here, if we want, we're going to have to select some options, but when we click, we're going to have to go through to a separate page, make our choice and then add to cart. And then we're going to, if you want to go back to where we were, then I need to go back. And it's not exactly uh, intuitive. It's quite easy to get um, lost. So the way to set up a product table within WooCommerce is to use the Barn2 plugin WooCommerce product table. It makes it really quick and easy for your customers to select multiple products, including selecting product options and stay on the same page. Let's take a look at how to set it up for your store. Now you'll find a link to download the WooCommerce product table plugin in the description below and just install it in the normal way by going to plugins in the admin, add new, upload plugin, and then find and upload the zip file of the plugin you downloaded. And then once uploaded, find it in plugins, activate, and then click on settings. Now here within settings, you need to enter your license key, activate, and we're good to go. Now, if we come down to where it says shop integration, this is where we can tell the plugin to display a product table on our site. So if we want to display a product table on our shop page, we can select that here, maybe on our product categories, we can select that one too. And you can display a product table anywhere on your site by using a short code. So I've selected shop page and product categories. If I come down to the bottom here now and save my changes, and then if I come to my little test shop site here, this is the shop before I've integrated the product table. So you can see I've got a sort of standard grid, uh, grid display of my products. If I now refresh this page, now we've made some changes to the plugin settings. There, we now have a really neat product table displaying our products. And we can multi-select products, including making selections of options like color, size, etc., and most importantly, stay on the same page. So it makes it really quick and easy. So I can add one of these to my cart. And then this one has options, but I can select them here, go for green, medium, and let's have uh, two of those. That's automatically um, enabled the buy button here. So that one's selected, we can come down, we can add a few more, let's have a couple of those. And let's just have one of these. Now we've got all those selected. To add them to the cart, all I need to do is press the add selected items to cart button here. And there we go, they're all in the cart ready to check out. It's really quick and easy to order with a product table like this. If we go back into the plugin settings, there are lots of ways to customize how your table looks and behaves. Here, we can change the columns in the table. We can change which columns are displayed, the order and the name of the column. The way the table is sorted can be changed here. And you can opt to have add to cart buttons or buy buttons, or as I did, you could have both. 
For products with variations, like the hoodie I had with size and colour options, it's a good idea to have variations displayed as a drop-down list so the customer stays on the same page to order. And there are very handy options for how to display filters and the search box. And many more ways to tweak the function and display of your table. You'll find a link to download the plugin from barn2.com in the description below, as well as a link to a step-by-step -step written tutorial. Thanks for watching.